Good morning, Modern Steaders. Today's the day our next big building project gets dropped off. By the title and the thumbnail, you probably already know what it is, but I'm not saying yet. <laughs> they haven't shown up, so I can't wait for the delivery to come. And then we get to see it and go through everything. I didn't catch you a mouse last night. The homemade mouse trap was a bosh, and the store bought one went off, but that was it. I have video footage of the mouse taunting us. He was standing on the milking stand and he stood on the homemade mouse trap but didn't fall in. Mice don't taunt people. Yes, they <laughs> did. They laughed at us. There was photos of the mouse standing here on top of your board, then up here when I had the homemade mouse trap. If you guys didn't see that video, I'll put a link to it right here. But I made a homemade mouse trap and I had it on the milking stand last night. I checked it first thing this morning in the video that that went out on. So if you want to see that footage, you should go why check out that video. That's why we have boards on top of everything. Right. We gotta keep the mice out of it. We're gonna get them. We're gonna have the last laugh. Give us a Good morning. Are you ready? Are you ready? No, oh, so you gotta put your head over here. Over here. Okay. Uh, That tasty breakfast this morning there. Buttercup. You've actually eaten quite a bit of it already. That's why I can't put it right in. I forgot to tell you yesterday afternoon I was driving the mule down to go take care of the meat birds. And I thought I saw a maverick and goose. It was a bunch of baby turkeys. Where? I was so disappointed up the road. I was like, oh, it's American Goose. So I drove down further. And I'm like, oh, wait, that's just baby turkeys. I thought I saw them this morning, too, but it was Olivia's chickens. You ready to go out and get a second breakfast now, Buttercup? You burped, you piggy. You piggy. Let me get your eye booger. There you go. Hey, wait a second. We've had a lot of people asking about Buttercup's bump right there. That's where she got her vaccine shot from the vet. And that can happen, is they can get little bumps. So, that's what that is. Nothing's wrong with her. You girls ready? The grass has been very wet out in the morning lately. So I put some hay in their feeder for them. We don't want the girls eating wet grass if we can help it. There you go. We still haven't found our ducks, Maverick and Goose yet. We haven't found any signs of them either. If it was a predator attack, I would have thought they'd only taken one. And if they took balls, I think we'd see feathers or some kind of remnants of them. So I'm not sure, but it's been almost a week now since we've lost them. So we don't have high hopes anymore, but we're hopeful that they still might come back. The pigs are napping. I wonder how close we can get before they wake. Good morning. You're napping. Huh, what are you napping for? You have a long night? You girls are usually running right over here. Did you party hard last night or what? All right, well, if we go out there quick, they'll still have some alfalfa pellets left for you.
They're all still down at the feet are waiting for you, Willow. You just gotta go that way. They're waiting for you. All right, let's set this back up and let's see if we can get some mice tonight. I don't like knowing that there's mice in our milking room. So hopefully tonight we'll get them. I hear the truck, it's here. Wow, it's a truckload. I wanna thank Jamaica Cottage Shop for sponsoring this build series. If it wasn't for sponsors like Jamaica Cottage Shop and viewers like you, the videos that we make here wouldn't be possible. I'm gonna have links in the video description down below to Jamaica Cottage Shop and the building that we're building. That's a pile of lumber. Trying to get past all the trees, he's wider than some of them. Guess we should have made our road a little bit wider for this building.
first pallet load down. I believe we got four more to go. between the pine tree and the birch tree. They're a little tight. Oh, he's got it this time. No sweat. And then this skid has our six by sixes that we're gonna be using to build the upright posts. So we're gonna take this skid and dump it over here. Can you spin it and go this way? I gotta give you enough. Yeah, that should be perfect. Have enough room to get to the barn and have enough room to get to the side of the building. Got him in a tight spot, but he's getting it. He knows what he's doing. Look at that. Just like a pro. we can get the last two pallets off and get them staged down below. looking bug. Is it alive? Are you alive? It is. I wouldn't want to get stung by that thing.
all of our 2x6s for the custom wall we're going to be building on it. That thing turns on a dime. It's amazing. Tight spacing is just mop to get in and out of. Now we gotta run back up to the truck and get the last pallet. So if you wanted to, if you had a piece of property where you're building off the grid or out in the willy whack, you can drag these around. These skids are made really nice for you. Slow going in between those two trees. It's a tight fit, but he knows what he's doing. this way or Hey, thank you for the delivery today. Right, thank you. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you. Have a good ride back. <laughs> now comes our part. Looking forward to it? I'm looking forward to using the nail gun again. Right. 
I'm excited. I love building stuff. Oh, it feels good to have another project on the homestead to start. I just don't like the high stuff. You don't like the high stuff? This won't be like the greenhouse. It'll be high stuff, but it won't be like the greenhouse where you can't stand on stuff. So when we ordered the barn kit from Jamaica Cottage Shops, they deliver it and we have six pallets. It normally comes in five, but we we're customizing it a little bit. So the six small pallet is the lumber so we can customize it. As we were laying out the pallets, we were looking through them to see what were in the pallets. So this one right here has some regular six by six posts, some siding and some two by sixes and some short rafters. So we kept this on the left side of the barn so we'd be able to get to it easy. This pallet right here is going to be our first pallet that we're going to need to get to. We have our pressure treated six by six sills here. That's going to be the first pieces we put down. And then we put siding, siding and rafters and different structural pieces. And then rafters are the bottom one. So we kind of laid it out in order. So as we're building, we can go to the different skids that we need and get everything. We're not tripping over it and we're not burying the stuff we're going to be using first. That was one of the things we were keeping in mind when we were placing all these skids. Where's the roofing? The roofing I just saw, I think it's in this one. I just saw the, no, the roofing's right here. So we'll have to move some stuff before we can get to our sills, but that's the roofing right there, green metal roofing like before. And then one of these has in it this one right here has all of our hardware boom it's so one of the really nice things about these kits everything comes pre-cut and we have all the material we need to build it hardware and everything it comes with hand banging nails so we're not going to use that hardware ourselves we'll use the nail gun to make it easier on ourselves but if you didn't want to use a nail gun you have all the nails and screws that you need right here we have all of our rafters the ends are cut here and then over here we have our bird mouth notches for the far end on the wall. Boom. So all that comes pre-cut and we don't have to do that. Which is really nice being two people building this building. Everything is already cut and we just got to start putting it together. It's like a big Lego set. We built our barn from Jamaica Cottage Shops and our firewood shed is from Jamaica Cottage Shops. Oh, we. You did the barn. Okay, I did the barn. We did the firewood shed. If you're new to the channel and you haven't seen any of those, I'll put a playlist right here to the barn building series. And then in another video, I'll link the one for the firewood shed. So Jamaica Cottage Shop calls this their 20 by 36 equipment shed. And this is what it looks like right here. We're not gonna call it an equipment shed because we're customizing this one. We're gonna be putting some barn stalls in it. So working with Jamaica Cottage Shops, you're able to get your plans sent out and get them engineered. So we had the plans engineered and we changed them up. So normally you'd have one, two, three bays. We're gonna close up this front and we had a new wall designed. And we're gonna put one door here and one door there. And there'll be a divider in the middle so we can have two more animal stalls, whether that be for cow, sheep. I don't know what we're gonna do with it yet. We can't give away all the secrets. But this will be on the far end over here. It'll be the last bay. So that way those doors can access this pasture. So whatever we have for animals in that barn, they can go right out to that pasture. I know Gina keeps dreaming about making butter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Be your cheese in your yogurt making barn? No, um, the, I've been wanting to do cheese and yogurt with a goat's milk, but I just haven't. But we have a top, front, and side view of it here with our redesigned side. And this is our layout of our sill plates, of our rafters with collar ties. This is the blueprint of the everything else. This is what the side's gonna look like with the two doors. This is the other side that doesn't have the doors. Front view, top view, and then another front view. This building's gonna look like our firewood shed, but just on steroids, a lot bigger. We need it because we need a place to put more animals. We need a place to store hay in the wintertime. And then we also need a place to store 
the mule and the side-by-side -side and all of the other stuff we have here. We have a lot of stuff. And in the winter time in our Northern climate, we got to keep everything inside under cover so it's not getting buried in snow. So this bundle of lumber right here is all of our two by sixes. And I don't know if that's the extra siding too, or if the extra siding is in some of these other bundles so that we can close off this wall right here and put our two doors. You make that uh, skid look pretty big. <laughs> you got it to scale. Oh. That weighs 4,500 pounds. You think the uh, Kubota could move that around? Yeah, <laughs> no. I even left enough room so we can get to your garden. You better get to the garden. Yep, perfect. If you're new to the channel, we're building our modern homestead here in Northern New Hampshire. We've been here, what, five years now? We started building our house. Unfortunately, we don't have videos on that. And then we've been clearing land, making small buildings. We have our first goat barn. We have our outdoor kitchen up there. We got our barn a chicken coop, a firewood shed, a greenhouse, and all of those are on video. So, so if you guys are new to the channel, you can check those videos out and subscribe to the channel. This is where we're gonna end today's video. I am wiped. I woke up at 2 a.m. this morning like a kid on Christmas morning. I was all excited that the barn kit was getting dropped off. I'm excited to start building it, see what it looks like. Thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey list, guys. You're a huge blessing to us in our homestead. And we'll see you right back here in the next video when we start getting into these pallets and start building the barn. Bye.